you might agree with me. Our world needs more acts of kindness, more people building global friendships, helping those in need, and leading positive change. In short, our world needs more volunteers. I wonder how old you were when you first considered volunteering. For me, it was in grade eight. One Friday in September, two years ago, two grade 12 girls, co-presidents of my school student council, walked in my socials class. They were dressed casually, yet they radiated the confidence of two leaders. Standing in the front, they eagerly explained why we should run for grade eight representative. I was curious and a little confused. Like, what are you supposed to do other than represent your own grade? It wasn't until I heard the words leadership and volunteer that I realized this was my opportunity. I want this. I love helping people. I want to help around the school, organize events, and become a student leader just like the grade 12s. But my heart was pounding. I froze. And I'm not the only one. I bet you know someone, maybe even yourself, who freezes when presented with an opportunity, even if you really want it. Because of fear, way too many people miss out on the benefits of volunteering. They don't get to experience the friendships, the adventures, the leadership experience, the exposure to global citizenship, or that satisfaction of knowing you, in your community or in the world, you make a positive difference. And our world needs you. We need future innovators, activists, leaders, and change. We need you to make a positive difference. But that Friday, sitting on my desk, I started thinking, I've never done this before. I'll fail. What if no one sees my posters? What if no one likes my slogan? What if I mess up my speech and humiliate myself? I don't think I can do this. Finishing up with her speech, one of the co-presidents holds up a pile of forms. Don't forget, the applications are due next Wednesday. She puts the forms on a desk as they walk out. It seems so easy for everyone else to just take a form and return to their seat. I want to do so as well, but my heart is pounding, my hands are glued to my desk, my feet are stuck to the floor. I am frozen with fear. Looking back, I realized something. The fear I felt that day sitting on my desk is the same type of fear I have felt another time in my life. I was standing on a platform, 45 meters in the air. My heart was pounding just like it was pounding sitting at my desk. My hands are gripping the rails just like they were gripping my desktop. My feet are stuck to the floor just like they were stuck to the floor beneath my desk. But the situation was different. I was in Cancun, Mexico. Sunny skies, 33 degrees Celsius. It was a family vacation to the Export Adventure Park zipline. So there it was, 45 meters in the air. Try as I might, I cannot see where that zipline ends. It just stretches on forever suspended high up over a seemingly never-ending forest, disappearing into a green void. Both standing on the platform and sitting at my desk, the fear was the same. But for the zipline, I conquered my fear. For the volunteer opportunity, fear won. In retrospect, I know exactly what it took for me to conquer my fear of ziplining over swamps and snakes and even the possibility of plummeting to your own death. Two things. First, I was with people I cared about. My whole family was there to support me if need be. Second, there were experienced workers who had no fear. They guided, reassured, and showed us that we could also conquer our fears. One worker in particular practiced his Chinese, my dad. His accent was very interesting, but he made a good effort. In the end, we all had so much fun that we all momentarily forgot our fears. So when the time finally came for me to zip line into that green void, I was feeling a lot less nervous. On the count of three, two, one, the worker pushes me off. And before I know it, 
I am racing through the rainforest. I, I see the trees below me rushing by. I feel the hair, I feel the wind blowing in my hair. It's exhilarating. It's an adventure and I love it. Now I know what I didn't know then. That with the right people and experienced mentors who support you through your journey, you too can overcome your fear of ziplining and pretty much anything else in your life. It just took me a while to figure it out. Fortunately, later in my eighth grade year, I met a mentor. Just like those workers who helped calm me down on the zipline platform, my teacher, Mr. Chan, made me feel comfortable with the idea of volunteering. One Friday in April, in math class, he says, Class, I have an announcement. I'm starting a new club, Interact Club. It's all about volunteering and helping your community. You guys should totally come to your first meeting. I was curious and a little confused. Like, what do you do in Interact other than interact with other people? It wasn't until I heard the word volunteering that I realized this was my opportunity. I want this. I want to volunteer. So I decided to go. And this time, I went with my friends. At the first meeting, I felt comfortable because I was with my friends and because both Mr. Chan and the club leader made everyone feel welcomed. It was only through overcoming my fear that I was able to experience the adventure of volunteering. I helped with our first project and I spoke a challenge fundraiser for a local animal shelter. I formed friendships with students from other grades, went class to class spreading the word, even guilted teachers into agreeing with getting dunked with ice cold water. For example, Mrs. Lau, just think of all the animals you'll be saving. Please just do it for the puppies. I know, not a conventional way to do it, but it really did work because we raised over $300. Volunteering at the event was an adventure and I loved it. But the best part was the satisfaction I got knowing I had helped my community, including all of those cute little puppies. I overcame my fear in grade eight. And when grade nine rolled around, I was ready. Two new student council co-presidents walk in my science class. You know the drill. They talk, they put the forms on the desk, they leave. But this time, instead of heart pounding, hands glued to my desk, and feet stuck to the floor, I feel confident. Now I know the benefits of volunteering from experience. The friendships, the adventures, the leadership experience, the exposure to global citizenship, and that satisfaction of knowing you make a positive difference. So I take that form, fill it out, and run for grade nine representative. Thanks to Interact, I merged from someone who wanted to help but was too fearful to do so to someone who was active in volunteering in her community. I was lucky to have Mr. Chan mentor me into volunteering in Interact. And just in case you're not in his math class, I'm here today and I have an announcement. Don't wait to volunteer. You don't have to stand on the platform 45 meters above a jungle in Mexico to experience adventures. Embrace the idea that volunteering adventures are everywhere. At any age, you can gather your friends to pick up garbage or donate items to a shelter. If you're in high school, find a place to get involved. All you need to conquer your fears is someone you feel comfortable with and a mentor to support you along the way. Join your school's student council, interact club, or any other organization and start your volunteering adventure today.